Oh, I've seen it a bunch of times. Oh. So when I first saw it, I was by myself. I was able to see it in one, a small theater in, on the Paramount lot. And thank goodness no one was with me because I cried like a baby. Uh, it looks beautiful. It's such a heartfelt story. It's a wonderful story. And since then, I've been able to see it with audiences in Germany, the UK, in America. I still cry like a baby, but I don't feel so bad. Uh, it really is a great movie. And a lot of people like you are watching it and they're very touched by it. Neither can I, but this is one of those movies that really does get you. And I think it's um, a testament to Travis and how he wanted to paint the universe. You feel for Bumblebee. You really want to root for Bumblebee. And there are some moments where you also feel for Charlie. And you really want to root for Haley's character. And there are some moments where the, the relationship is just really strong and you find yourself doing this, you know? <laughs> Oh yeah, I have two. Um, I love it the first time Bumblebee transforms after he's been in hibernation. Mm -hmm. Because in a matter of a minute, mm -hmm. you realize that Bumblebee is weak, mm -hmm. vulnerable, mm -hmm. needs help. Mm -hmm. uh, like all of those things help humanize a 14 foot transforming robot with a laser cannon. Mm -hmm. That's not, that explanation is not something you want to be like, oh, but in that minute, you're like, oh, he just, just needs a friend. And it, it's those choices that make this movie so strong. And then there's another scene where Haley explains the significance of her Corvette to Bumblebee. And that's the scene that I always cry at. Because Haley's performance is so good. And, and Bumblebee becomes a genuine friend in that moment. And that's amazing that in a franchise of huge action, and in a movie of huge action, the, the, my two favorite scenes are the uh, really emotionally strong scenes. But it really makes the movie fun. So uh, I had really good rapport with Travis. He let me know what he wanted, and I tried my best to give it to him. And sometimes we would, we would get the material down very early, mm -hmm. and he'd walk over and be like, man, uh, we're all set up. We got it. I got time. Take one for yourself. And then I would just kind of drop the Agent Burns act and, and just try to crack up the crew guys. So a lot of it was inappropriate humor, mm -hmm. but Travis being smart and open-minded would come after the take, you'd come out and be like, well, I can't use any of that because there's too many swears. But I like what you were doing. Do this, don't swear, and do it like this. And that's a lot of the humor that you see in the movie. So he was open-minded enough uh, and had the great perspective of like, okay, let him try one. I can't use it, but I can use kind of what he was doing. I just need to tell him that's, that's all him. Yes, because uh, b before I, I made some choices uh, movie-wise based on a, the success of a business model, and I think those were a mistake. Ever since I got to start telling jokes, uh, that was kind of the first choice I made for me. I wanted to be part of a, something funny, and then read a wonderful script and got to be part of that. So now I really just choose material that I enjoy. I enjoy the doing of the deed, the making of the movie, not like, oh, this will be a good choice for business. Um, I've done movies of varying budgets, but they share the same thing. I, I like the movie. So uh, it's not all, all that often in WWE that you get to see me, you know, let my guard down and be funny, but it's, it's good that people are being able to see that side. I think the great thing about Bumblebee is we can all relate to that. Mm -hmm. It's um, Bumblebee has moments of not is being misunderstood and it shows on his face and we all uh, relate through that. And I love how Bumblebee's uniform changes. You're right. When he puts on the soldier face, it's a, it's a face, it's a change. And I think when we get angry or we stand up for, for things that we believe in, that demeanor does change. It, Bumblebee really does wear his emotions on his sleeve because it's, again, he has no voice. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very well defined. I think we can all relate to that sort of transformation. It's amazing because uh, people are surprised. And they're surprised by like, man, I wasn't expecting that. And, and I walked out of the theater feeling great. I think the great thing about social networks is we, we are redefining the franchise. We took a lot of chances to, to make a different movie. Mm -hmm. Same franchise, just a different style of movie. Mm -hmm. So when that word gets out before the movie is released globally, that helps the movie. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. When people are like, man, I wasn't expecting it, but it was great. Mm -hmm. I think our the hardest task for us is to is to change people's mind that this, this isn't an installment in the Transformers franchise you're familiar with. Bumblebee is a brand new movie. Mm. So I'm very grateful for the social media voice because it's helping tell that message for us. Uh, long ago in a galaxy far, far away, my poor mother, who is a saint, put up with me and a bunch of my brothers and uh, my family and those folks around me never tried to push me to be something that I'm not. I was always encouraged to be myself and do what I enjoy, and that's, uh, that's still what I'm doing to this very day. So I'm very grateful for my beginnings and the, the people who I was surrounded by.